ironclad and with Herculean strength, then visit the convention spawned from comic books. How you doing? I'm Garrett Seamus, the big cheese over here at Wizard. We have the uh, industry magazine, and we decided to buy the show and get everybody that we do business with, everybody from the Star Wars people behind the mask, to the Star Trek people, to the card gaming companies, and all the comic book companies here. This is the Spawn Alley, and uh, we can take a quick walk through here. This is the scariest character in the movie. The clown that we saw turns into the Violator, and there he's actually got a heart sticking right in his mouth there. Very, very scary. The kids will love it. You're getting them hooked on visual tobacco. Oh, absolutely. We are definitely selling uh, the nicotine of, uh, of, of entertainment. What's your favorite comic book character? Uh, Spider-Man? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Uh, amazing Spider-Man number one. $12,500. What? $12,500. Describe the typical comic book collector. Um, typically male, in their mid to high teens, and uh, just also a fan of, of sci-fi and toys and action figures. Bravely bold to Robin, rode forth from Camelot. He was not afraid to die, oh, brave Sir Robin. With comic books, we're dealing with exaggeration. You know, Hulk is a manifestation of a rage. So with these characters, certainly they're ideal. And you know, they're not meant to be real. It's a fantasy for everybody, men and women. You're waiting for she. Yeah. I've been here since about two o'clock. How much of a commitment do you make to she? I mean, you have the comic books, what else? Well, I have them on my wall. I have all four walls in my front room. I have pictures with me for it, and it's great. Oh, no, I, I love the comic. It's my favorite comic. It's on my license plate on my car. Who's your favorite comic book character? I guess it'd be Superman. The Superman. Superman. Uh, da -da 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 -da, Johnny the Homicidal Mania. When I went up for the part, they, they looked. They wanted someone that was as tall as possible. And I'm seven foot three, so I think I quite, that was one of the reasons I qualified. Do I call you Mr. Fett or Boba? Uh, Sir Boba Fett, actually, if you don't mind. The comic book artists here have resurrected poor old Boba from his demise in Return of the Jedi. He's perfectly all right. He's not dead. He's opened a nightclub. He's opened a restaurant called Hooters, and I don't know what that means. I don't collect. Um, you know, Star Wars memorabilia and things like this, you know, but, uh, but I do like meeting, you know, who's the, the sort of famous people. I mean, for years and years and years, I've been, I've been a huge admirer of Lou Ferrigno. You see? The Hulk. You see? Did you see him? Yeah. Well, I, I, well, we're the greatest of friends now. Yeah. There's, there's a, a, a dollar to stop <laughs> Dave talking. Yeah. My name is Wolverine, and I'm coming to get you. <laughs> what is Red Bastard? Um, it's a two-dollar comic. First issue recently out. <laughs> How long have you been a Rad Bastard? Uh, took us two years to get the first issue out. What's the future for Rad Bastard? Putting Superman out of business. What's your favorite comic book character? Deathlock. Uh, Bone. Angela. Type played Mary. Vlad, you're bad. Thank you, darling. Our lives will go on. We are successful people. Can we ride with you over to your hotel? Not at all. Totally. Do join us. Thank you. How did the panel go? Oh, this is huge. I was blown away by the uh, sweep and scope and the, the size of this uh, convention. The energy of the, of the fans who, who love us is really wonderful. There are Star Trek conventions somewhere all over the world every weekend. Garib, if people want to attend the next Comic-Con, who should they call? They should call Wizard at 608. 226-0200, and welcome to hell. Go bid souvenirs collection, you go. Correspondent Cassie Harlow drew the assignment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I wasn't sure if you heard me. This is the way we are. This is how we operate, buddy. Hi! We're gonna put the face the, the handsome hot box face to that voice, people. This is Man Call. How long have you been collecting goofy, nutty stuff? What do you want to say? That's uh, Picard's outfit from the last Star Trek movie. That, oh, you're kidding me. Oh, my God. This is so it stays down? Yeah, they hold that around their crotch. This is the uh, this is Charlton Heston's gun from Play of the Apes. It's not. Yeah, and this is the original ape costume from, from uh, Roddy McDowell. Cornelius, look at the feet. With the toes? Isn't that great? Remember this movie? Huh? Oh, you damn dirty apes, get your hands off me. I just love Lost in Space. I think it's the funniest show that's ever been on TV. I have all the second season costumes from, uh, from Lost in Space. Oh, there's, there's little Will Robertson. Look how little that is. Oh, my God. Can I put that on, please? 
get into it. I will. No way. Please. You're insane. This is uh, one of two known guns to exist. Lost in space. She's going to break it, and I'm going to sue Wild Chicago. Wild Chicago! You ever see Battlestar Galactica? Yeah! That's a uh, Starbucks outfit from Battlestar Galactica. Get out! That yeah. looks like Grandma's coat. Yeah, no, that's it. These are all people we've had on the show. Uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Regis and Kathy Lee, uh, Gilligan. Skipper, too? And no, no, Skipper. He was dead. Al Lewis. <laughs> you know, I, I think when you when you collect stuff like autographs and everything, it really is, it's like a little bit of their magic rubs off on you. I mean, I, I just love it. It's like a little bit of, you, you capture a little bit of their magic, an instant of their life. Thank you. This is something I invented. Is that for the tub? Yes. When I get up at 2.30 in the morning to do the radio show, I thought it would be kind of cool to, because uh, I do a lot of writing in the tub, so I, I invented this to, uh, to be able to work and, you know, you can put soda and writing materials here. Now what's this end of it? What's that for? Is, um, you put this here so you can write. Oh. Right. But I also found that it's bad for men. You can get caught in this thing. It's happened to me. There isn't even a hair in the sink here. This place is so clean. It's like uh, Gandhi said, you know, when he's cleaning the toilet, he's the best toilet cleaner there is. And I just, I just try to be the, the best at whatever I do, and I like to keep my house clean. I'm telling you, you got to get your own fat naked guy. You got to get your own fat naked guy. No, we got every house deserves a fat naked guy. Okay. Uh, where's Mrs. Mancow? No, I'm not married. I'm a single guy. What is the very first, uh, the very first freakish item you got for your your collection? I was a uh, I was a dead body in a movie called The Day After, and the guy who got the Academy Award for for Rocky for doing the makeup on Rocky sent me a, a scab of Rocky's. And I thought, this is really cool. This was a scab on Sylvester Sloan's face. And I just, um... And that just started Yeah, off. yeah, I just started collecting weird stuff. Yeah. This is a, uh, this is a 1940s banner. This is the freak show that Todd Browning went to and pulled freaks for the movie Freaks from. This is, uh, The Alligator Woman. The Alligator Woman. You ever heard of Jojo the dog Face Boy? There he is. That was Jojo the dog Face Boy. And Here's my pet maggot. Pet maggot, if it was your Will Robinson uniform, would you let me wear it? No! <laughs> Not yet. So tell us, Mr. Mancow, what are things that you think people don't know about you? Some people think I'm a woman, and although to you, maybe on TV, I look like a Nubian princess, the truth is I'm just white bread Midwestern boy. I'm How about the people who think that you're really gross and perverted and big slime -o? Um, they pretty much got it right. What I do sometimes is I put this on my <laughs> dance around my place. That would really turn me on. This is, uh, these are Charles, this is Charles Manson's uh, prison induction papers for the Tate murder. When they brought Manson in the first time, these are his fingerprints. How in the heck did you get a hold of that? You know what? A guy who, uh, who was a prison guard listened to the show and traded me this. Are you ready for it? For a, for a pair of Prince tickets. Mr. Mancow? Yes. I was just wondering if people wanted to uh, get involved in your collection, what should they do? Call me at the radio station, 312-861-8100, Rock 103.5. Anything you're especially looking for that you've been looking for for a while? I'm looking for a little redhead who's a real smart ass who does a TV show.